Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about one of the most underrated products from Apple that I use on my desk every single day. That's the Apple Magic Trackpad. At first glance, it might look like a simple slab of aluminium and glass, but it is one of the most used and most productive device that I have on my setup. So in this video, I'll break down why I use it every single day and how it fits into my workflow with the Mac Studio and iPad Pro and whether it's still worth buying in 2025. So let's start with the build and the design. Apple has absolutely nailed with the minimalism here. The trackpad is made of a solid glass surface with a smooth aluminum base. It's wireless and rechargeable via USB-C and pairs instantly with your Mac. What I love is how it matches with Magic Keyboard perfectly. Unlike most PC trackpads, this isn't limited to a laptop form factor. You get the same MacBook Pro experience, but on your desktop. Next, let's talk about gestures and productivity. This is where the Magic Trackpad shines. The multi-touch gestures completely change how fast I work. For example, three finger swipe to move between desktops, pinch to zoom inside apps like Notion or Safari, four finger pinch to open mission control instantly, and my favorite, smooth scrolling. It feels more natural than any mouse I've ever used. For creative work like editing in Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve, I use it to scrub timelines quickly and efficiently. It's almost like having a giant touch surface for precision. Okay, now let's answer the big question. Why use a trackpad instead of a mouse? The Magic Trackpad isn't for everyone. If you are into competitive gaming, a mouse will always be better, but for creators, writers and productivity nerds, it's a game changer. It reduces desk clutter, gives you natural gestures and feels less straining on the wrist during long editing sessions. I also have the Logitech MX Master 3S paired to my Mac Studio and I switch between the two, but honestly I find that 70% of times I am actually using the trackpad. Okay, the other great thing about using the Magic Trackpad is that it works within the Apple ecosystem. So I also use this with my iPad Pro. Yes, iPad Pro with a Magic Keyboard does come with the trackpad, but this is bigger and gives me more real estate when it comes to doing gestures and it works perfectly fine. Also, if you're using your iPad whilst you're working on your MacBook or on your Mac Studio, you can use the same trackpad to control all your devices. This is where I really like the Apple ecosystem and the cohesiveness around the whole tech items. Okay, now the question is, is it worth the price that Apple is selling it for? Well, in my case, yes. Before using the Apple Magic Trackpad, I was using the Logitech MX Master 3S. That was the only mouse I had. And I was interested in Magic Trackpad because I wanted to have the same laptop and the Magic Keyboard experience on my desktop. So I gave it a go and I had both Logitech MX Master 3S and also the trackpad on the setup at the same time. I was doing some tasks with the trackpad and some with the, with the mouse. But over time, I found myself using the trackpad more and more. So I had the trackpad located on the left side of the keyboard and the mouse on the right side. So naturally, I will use, I'm a right-handed person, so I use more my mouse than my trackpad. But then over time, I found myself using more and more trackpad and I switched sides. So I, the mouse was staying on the left side and then the trackpad on the right. And I I think it's only about 10 or 5 times sometimes I use my mouse after that. And then after that, I completely removed the mouse from my setup. So yes, in my use case, absolutely no brainer. But, you know, you have to think about what are you doing the most uh, on your desk? What are you doing most in your usual workflow? And are you fully into Apple ecosystem? Then yes, go for it. It will boost your productivity and give you the similar experience that you'll get on an Apple Magic trackpad or on your MacBook. So yes, it's worth investment in my opinion. I hope that was helpful for you guys to make a decision. And if so, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for staying all the way till the end. It means a lot to me. Bye for now and I'll see you next week.